why we don't need drivers in the latest version of Selenium WebDriver? Very common question again with uh, recent interviews. I have seen many of my candidates started running interviews and they found this question that why we don't need drivers for each browser in the latest version of Selenium. So direct answer is yes, still we need it. But Selenium handles this smartly automatically behind the scene. So let me give you some background how it happens then how you can explain and what is happening behind the scene when you write the first line of your code which is web driver driver equal to new chrome driver or web driver driver equal to new firefox driver so before you i explain this cache process uh, if you're using selenium from a long time then you must be noticing that in order to work with each browser we need driver so basically for chrome we need chrome driver for firefox we need gecko driver for edge browser microsoft edge we need edge driver so if you're using older version of selenium we used to download these uh, drivers we need to unzip we need to set the path using system.set property right that was a very old way then we got selenium web driver manager so basically this was another library which used to manage the drivers automatically right but we need to still write uh, web driver manager dot setup dot chrome and so on but after selenium 4.6 we got something called selenium manager again please note it got introduced after 4.6 at the time of recording this video i'm using 4.23.1 this got introduced and by default the moment you use any version 4.6 and above it comes by default so what it does it will manage your drivers automatically so answer is you still need drivers but it will manage automatically using selenium manager and i will show you how to check the drivers where it exactly is getting stored how you can get the new drivers and so on watch the video till then you will have more clarity so what happens let me show you through one example See the fact is if I want to start with Chrome, I need Chrome driver, right? So if I say start web driver driver equal to new Chrome driver. So what exactly happens when you execute this code? First, let me execute this code. You will see the Chrome started. And since we are not passing any URL, it's not loading, right? Just a browser but behind the scene it downloaded the chrome driver and it used automatically it already set up the property but how it is happening i want to show you this location this is the standard location if you're using mac it will be same users your current username dot cache dot selenium and if you're using windows the path is same Go to your users folder, the current user dot cache and selenium. So if I show you this, if I go to specific location, so you notice here we have one folder called selenium. If I open this, you will notice we have Chrome driver, Firefox, Gecko driver and Edge driver, MS Edge driver means Microsoft Edge driver. If I open this folder, you will see it has all the previous drivers too. So 124, then 125, 126 and 127. I'm using latest version of Chrome, which is 127. So it downloaded the new version. Notice 99, 119, 119. <coughs> Before that, 72, 82, 72 and 88. If you open this, you will find the shell since I'm using Mac, it is a shell file. If you're using Windows, it will be .exe. And this is what gets executed before invoking your browser. So if I execute this, it checks first. Okay. Do we have this driver? If yes, it will take from the cache. It will not download. But let's say 
I'm running the same script after 10 days. We have a new version 128. It will check in the cache first. If it is not available, it will download, dump into this cache, cache selenium respective driver, then set the path, then invoke the browser. So this is how it works. Let's say this is my local system. And this is the cache where all the drivers are getting maintained. The moment I want to start with Chrome, first it will check. Do we have compatible version of this browser? If yes, it will take from the cache, it will set the path and it will run. But let's say I'm using some version and I don't have a driver. It will download the Chrome driver first, dump into cache, then it will reuse. This is the same process which gets followed with Firefox, with Edge drivers as well. So if you come across this question, please explain about Selenium Manager, which got introduced in 4.6. So to show you this, what I will do, let me delete this 127. Okay, I just deleted in front of you. And to show you this, I will maintain these two windows. Okay, yeah, I guess it's visible now. Maybe I will change this to a list. Notice we have 126. If I execute this piece of code, notice it took some time because it could not find the version. And here we go. It downloaded just now the compatible version 127.0.6533.119. It found the Chrome driver, then it started working. If I delete it once again, close this and execute this. It could not find it downloaded once again and it is running. Same process you will find for other browsers as well. First understand this example, then I will tell you how to answer in interviews. Let's say Gecko driver. Okay, so this is the latest one I have. I will delete this. Now I will change this to maybe Firefox driver. Execute it. Okay, it is trying to find in a cache. Obviously, it could not find and it downloaded just now 0 0.35 and executed. The same thing you can repeat for Edge browser as well and you will see the same thing. Okay, so let me tell you how to explain. This is how you can explain that we still need drivers, but from Selenium 4.6 onwards, we have Selenium Manager along with Selenium WebDriver, which automatically take care of the browser drivers. Browser still you need in a local system, but drivers you need to manage. So that will do, uh, that will be done by Selenium Manager. So let me reframe. You can explain, we still need drivers for Chrome, Firefox, and Nest driver, but Selenium 4.6 onwards, we have Selenium Manager, which automatically download the latest driver depends on the version. If we already have the compatible driver, it will directly take from the cache. But if you don't have the compatible driver, it will download the driver, dump into cache, then it will start reusing it. Initially, we used to have Selenium Web Driver Manager, where we need to set separate dependency, add one additional line of code, which used to download the drivers. But now it has been added. It's part of Selenium, which is now Selenium Manager, which is managing the drivers. So this is how you can explain. Yeah, that's all about this video. I hope this helped you. If yes, then do support this channel. Share this video with your colleagues, friends who have this kind of confusion. If you're looking for more videos like this, let me know in the comment section. And if you are new to this channel, then make sure you subscribe to this channel. So thank you so much. And I will see you all in the next video. Till then, bye-bye. Take care.